Hello there. My name is Peter Thompson and in this DVD I'm going to discuss what the head should do in the swing, if anything. In a golf swing, in a normal golf swing, what happens is this. Your weight starts off more or less in the middle and the weight goes into the inside of the right heel it then goes back onto the left leg and then it goes into the left heel. For this to happen your head cannot stay in the same place. It's physically impossible. Watch my head. Weight inside my right heel, weight back into my left leg, then turn round and the weight goes into the left heel. So your head has to move as your body moves. It simply cannot stay still. In the backswing, you need to load your weight inside your right heel. Your left side will be going down and as your left side goes down your head will probably also go down. You must have seen lots of golfers on Sky, on the BBC, or watching them live, and you'll notice that their head tends to go down. It does not stay still, and it does not stay level. So you must allow your head to move as your body needs to move to hit the golf ball correctly. We're going to go to my computer screen now, and I'm going to show you one or two brilliant golfers, and we'll study what they do with their heads. So we'll start off with a former world number one. He may get back there again. Who knows? Tiger Woods. And Tiger Woods, as everyone knows, has been a brilliant golfer for a long, long time. So I'm going to draw a little circle around his head. And then we're going to watch what happens to his head in the swing. This particular shot was on the hole almost 400 yards long, a dog leg right to left. And he was trying to hit the ball over the top of the trees, cutting the corner, which he did, and almost got the ball onto the green. So what's the head? The pitch is not all that clear, I'm afraid, but uh, I think you'll get the idea. In the back swing, his weight is now inside his right heel, so his head has moved to the right, and it's also turned to the right as well. His head is now pointing way outside his right leg. When he comes down to hit the ball, his weight drives forward, and this particular shot, he wanted to hit the ball really high, so his head's gone quite a long way back to hit the ball upwards. And at the moment of impact, which is about there, no part of his head is in the circle. That's the important thing. No part of his head is in the circle. A golf swing isn't a circle, therefore hasn't got a center. His head's moved completely out of the circle. At the end of the swing, there. Not very well balanced, but a fantastic goal shot. So head to the right, head down, head a long way back to hit the ball upwards, to hit the ball lower. He would have probably moved his head forward slightly, but the shot was going to go right over the top of the trees, which it did, and his head was not in the same place twice. We're going to go back to the 1930s now, 1930s, 1940s. This is Henry Cotton, who won the Open Championship three times in 1934, 1937 and 1948. The previous golfer we saw, Tiger Woods, has won 14 major championships. But here's Henry Cotton. 
and there's one line on top of his head and what you will see, you may be surprised to see this but as his legs and his hips drive forward his head has gone down probably gone down maybe nine inches but it certainly hasn't stayed level and it certainly hasn't stayed still very very fluid goal swing my father's a goal professional and Henry Cotton was my fa father's favourite golfer and there's the head going down now back up again so his head is literally moving with his body movement great golf swing won three open championships this is Ben Hogan who won nine major championships and we're going to watch his swing and see what his head does remember you need to let your head respond to your body movement the head cannot stay still and you'll see with Ben Hogan that it does not stay still there's this young man watching him in the front and a lady in red in the grandstands and behind Ben Hogan's head there's another lady watching so as he turns round and squats down see how the other knees are squatting down his head has gone down because we can now see this lady's head then as he drives forward hips knees driving forward to the left and turning round we can now see this lady almost completely and now the ball's gone and we can see her entirely now the lady in red uh, has all but disappeared let's watch it again Ben Hogan winner of nine major championships not keeping his head still even though in his book uh, the modern fundamentals of golf he did suggest that the head should stay still so turning around squatting down his head goes down the lady behind her head appears then he drives forward a long long way forward look at the knees look at the ankles look at the hips shoulders everything driving forward and turning around and there's a weight entirely on the front leg so his head did not and could not possibly have stayed still so there's three brilliant golfers allowing the head to respond to the body movement the swing isn't a circle and the swing does not have a center body goes round shifts to the left and turns around the other way it's impossible to follow those principles and keep the head in the same place so weight in the middle inside the right heel onto the left leg and then forward so the head finishes nice and directly over the left leg drive the ball forward head now is finishing over my left leg so my head wasn't in the same place twice in the swing. Let's go look at some more golfers and see what their heads do. Darren Clark. Everyone likes watching Darren Clark. I certainly do. Great character, great golfer, win the open in 2011 I was delighted when he won that let's watch his head this is the Masters in 2004 I went to uh, watch the Masters because one of my pupils Gary Wolstenholme had won the 2003 amateur championship so he gave me two tickets for five days so off I went and it was absolutely wonderful I took my camera uh, this is one of the swings that I took whilst I was there. Darren Clark squatting down beautifully, so his head has gone down, 
He's moved his weight into his right heel, so his head has now moved away from this vertical line. Then when he comes down to strike the ball, he drives forward and turns round, so his head is still down maybe six inches from where he started, and his head has moved about six inches away from this vertical line as the weight goes into the left heel. Great swing. He's looking at the golf ball, watching the ball, but he's not keeping his head still. Let's watch it again. So, weight moving via the hip turn inside the right heel. So his head goes away from the board, away from the target line. Squatting down, so his head's gone down. Driving forward, turning round, so his head that was in these two lines is now completely out of those two lines. Great swing. Allow your head to move. This is one of my pupils. His name is Mark, Mark Wicket. And in a pro competition, he went round Sherburne Golf Course in, in the United Kingdom in 60 shots gross. Par was 72, 12 under par. I believe the next best score was 68. So Mark's a phenomenally good golfer. He's had gross scores of 60 and 61s and 62s. I've talked to him for many years. Watch his head. So head to the right as the left side moves into the right side. His head's gone down as he squats into his right heel. Then he can drive forward. And that impact position is magnificent. Great goal swing. In this lesson, he's hitting three irons. This is a three iron, and he's hitting the ball over the fence at the end of the driver range, which is a long, long way, I can assure you. So, wait into the right heel, it goes down, wait to the right side, it goes to the right, and it comes back again, and then it goes forward. Good swing. So this DVD really is about ensuring that you realise that the head cannot stay still and if you try and keep it still you will never ever play golf anywhere near your full potential. It simply isn't possible. Your head goes where your body goes. Look at the golf ball, that's fine, but we don't want you to keep your head still because it completely restricts the turn, restricts the body movement, restricts everything. Allow your head to move as your body moves. Look at the ball by all means. There's the ball. Look at the ball in the back swing. Then look at the ball in the forward swing to allow your weight to go into your left side. So please, 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 please do not try and keep your head still. Look at the ball. Let your body turn. Move your head wherever it needs to go. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.